Jake, time for banging to me. Yeah, banging. <clears throat> Although I think he just, uh, as my housemate says, the way to defeat the Timurid Empire, sit back and watch. Oman and Jangladesh. Well, if it's not an Arissa alliance, you're not going to get anywhere. Don't even want to join you, you poor sod. And why are the Timmys such a joke? Well, Tech 15 when I'm sporting Tech much better than 15. Ooh, Reformed Tertio. 223, 233. One pip better than what I've been making out of the Easterns, but that's not such a good amount that I'm going to go gaga over it. With my better infantry fire though, that's pretty damn good. Puts me on par with France and Scandinavia and we're going to be needing that because oh my god, that's going to be horrible. Austria steering like Trier, subject to France. I shouldn't even do it like that. I should make it a conquest war. That way I can at least get ticking war from this. A ticking war score from this. And I can just sit back, smack anything that comes my way, ignore uh, the Ottomans. Don't even bring them in. It'd be suicidal, because I'd be, be, I'd be dealing with this. The Ottomans would just get stomped. At least that way I could fight them on my own terms. But I should definitely integrate Ukraine before I do that war. Definitely. Because Ukraine would jump face first. In fact, I can integrate them and Persia. Joe I'm not so concerned about. He's got a long way to go. Let's just leave that there, because I don't really want to lose Diplo points. i got a lot of people to integrate, and not that much time to integrate them in. done. Is there really anything else that needs to be converted as a priority? I don't believe there is. I'll do Kaban. Gee, Timmy, you're just embarrassing yourself. Okay, France at war with a lot of people. France is still going to win, of course, because they're France. It would be nice to think that they lose some freak wars, uh, freak battles, and their prestige drops down far enough for them to lose the personal union over Scandinavia. Like I said, a man can dream. Timmy, fighting chance for you. Just kidding. Hmm. Nice job, old man. Netherlands of the... Uh 
Netherlands of the Middle East, is that your nickname? Alright, Persia, go occupy the land that you need. <laughs> France, negative prestige, DDR Jake, you are smoking some really bad ganja. Say it like it is. France, you can't have military access. Oh wow, you've tapped out your prestige and you're winning your war. Good to see nothing ever changes. No revolt risk. Nationalism's hardly anything. These horde ideas are very well... Well, horde plus humanism, very well geared to mass conquest. I love it. Truly bested me. Oh, I forgot I'm using my crappy infantry down here. I should uh, dismiss them. In fact, I should dismiss this whole stack because it uses old Eastern SARS as well. Replace it with something half decent. Like a 2020 stack? Should do. No! Not the province I made in Ryukyu's glory, Sam Toy. The greatest naval supplies place ever. The amount of times I colonized and decolonized Sam Toy, I don't think it ever got uh, naval supplies when I was dealing with it. But what do I know? I'm just a scrub. Yeah, I'll be uh, having that back. Timmy's thrashing me. Mm, no, I don't want you rising up there, actually, since I need that province. Part of the Persian region and all that. Alright, Ming, is it time for war yet? 71. Okay, nine years. Record that. Hmm. Ah, slight uh, mistake. Quite nice to get this ugly part of uh, his country out of my country. But that all depends on the cost of the rest of this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting that land. Piss poor though it may be. Yeah, for one base tax, dealing in wool province would put me over the edge, so would these. But at least taking this completely seals off uh, this area. Bang. Now Persia should love me, so it's time that they got inside me. 
We've already got our cheaper Diplo annexation cost. I mean, they still need to convert these provinces, but that... Whoa, doing it at twice the speed of sound. That'll be no problem for them. So all these folks need to get over here. And you... You, you, you can pretty much go away. I'll stick the artillery over with them. But the rest of you, go away. As for artillery, oh yeah, core of these provinces. Sell this one. Man. Looking, looking really forward to that France war because it'll give me something pretty intense to fight for. The lack of diplo power is a little concerning. I don't want to make it my national focus, but I think I may be forced to. Here's the question, who goes first, Ukraine or uh, Persia? Now, annexing you would cost me all my diplo power, what an odd number, oh, of course, with a discount. Annexing you costs even more and takes even longer. So I think we'll get you out of the way first. How are your truces, Jake? Looking not too shabby. Scandinavia, though. What am I going to do about you? Now, if I had Commonwealth on my side in the war against France, I think it would be a different story. But Commonwealth hate me. Not much of it from aggressive expansion, though. never be able to get around that. Small matter of going to fight the Ottomans as well. Hmm. Oh god, that's even worse. Great Britain would join in because they're defender of the faith. Wait, that's not all bad. Great Britain might land some troops on me and I would smash them. There is a slight issue of Joe here though. Right, I'd tell Joe to attach to my troops. Just in case they got any funny ideas. Let's get that claim then. Let's get a claim on uh, Colmorgi. Because I mean, it's three dirt poor provinces. Could get them for 25% or less, but that would mean I would have to win the war and drag it on for like 12 years or more. That's an issue. Okay, this is bothering me a lot more than I thought it would. just kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. low uh, revolt risk thanks to so many years of nationalism being knocked off. Barely even need these troops down here. They're more for when I eventually have to deal with the Ottomans. Don't have to 